to show you the secret Sasquatch waterfall, I call it. And I filmed it once, way at the beginning of last year with a cell phone, and I don't think many people have seen it. Okay, so the cool thing about here, um, not really, you know, any structure or anything, because there's this rock face right here, and then just as I was coming in, I see this incredible teepee. You have to look really closely, like on this. It's inaccessible. I might try from the top if I can get around. And it's right up there above the, t the waterfall. So there's an incredible teepee, like, you'd have to mountain climb it to get there. Right on top of this waterfall. Well, it's over to the left of it, so I'm gonna do, I'm just kind of narrating now as I get in here, because you won't be able to hear me, but this is absolutely beautiful. Not only do I call this Sasquatch waterfall, because it is, it's, it's just an amazing hidden place. And not many people know about it. There is people that do, because there is a path a little bit that goes there. One time I found, saw a kid back here on a, on a bicycle, and I didn't ask him because he was like, <laughs> but I don't know how he got here. It was 15 miles away, so maybe, he, his, maybe they were camping or something not too far away. Okay, it's really misty. So the cool thing about this is when I filmed this, I got timestamps and it was like, there was like Bigfoot somewhere like over here staring at me while it was at that waterfall. So it's gonna get really loud. I'm just gonna film it, um, hopefully without getting too wet. Oh, did I say the gold? Yeah, so this thing's lined with gold. It's amazing. I'm already getting into a pretty good mist here. Hold on. Look at this. About. As you can see, there's an incredible mess. <clears throat> that snow melts, excuse me. <clears throat> I don't know my weapon, that snow melt coming from high elevation, high earth. Doesn't much get much higher than this, it gets up a couple of thousand more feet. That's all snow melting. I kind of want to get right up to it, but it's going to, uh, let me see if I can show you some of this gold. I mean, the gold flakes in this river, if I know more about panning, I'd probably try it because. You can see him. I might be able to zoom in. The river is just, it's like a, look, look at the break. Right in the middle of the river. It's a Sasquatch River, I swear. It's, it's their waterfall. It's, you gotta see this place that, is, that surrounds this. All the structures are mind blowing. I haven't done any filming around here yet except for just before I got here. And honestly, I don't even think I was near uh, in the best stuff. That was like my first little investigation. And I'm gonna narrow it down in here. Somewhere in here, it's really good. Look at these giant logs and stuff. Anywhere you look on the, on the, in the sand, on the side, I know there's something called fool's gold, and I don't think that's what it is. I think you could pan here very successfully. Look at that waterfall. I'm gonna do a quick walk up. Hopefully I don't get too wet. Let's see. I'm actually uh, getting wet there. So as you can see, someone knows about this because there's a campsite not too far away. Let's see if I can block the camera for a second. Hold on. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. It's getting soaking wet. All right, so how cool was that? I just had to walk out of there. As you can see, I mean, even where I was standing, I was getting hit by the water. I love that waterfall. It would be a little, I'm, I'm willing to bet you, okay? I need my gold people here. At the bottom of that waterfall, which it's just inaccessible. So like, in other words, if you own this property, which I don't think anyone does, you could go up there with a machine, divert the water temporarily that way, come in here, dive. I mean, that thing's gotta be deep. I mean, it's been, it's been getting humbled for like, probably forever. 
So there's a huge hole there, I bet you with nuggets of gold at the bottom. It's just one of those one places that, you know, people haven't got to. And if they, ha they did have that idea, it's just impossible to get in there. You'd have to, I think the water alone hitting you might be too much, but I don't know, maybe some kind of metal detector or something in there. I don't know anything about gold, but man, I'm around it a lot. I could, I could probably find some. Um, I got some good, like, secret little hidden streams that we'll probably never touch in the gold rush. You know, gold was so big up here. All your classic uh, signs. But, you know, there's a, there's a tree there, okay? I think it's been there for a long time. But it just happens to go all the way across. There's a rock in the middle of them. And it goes way back behind its stump. Like I had that bend over the, over there. You know, I got one there. Just real, uh, you know, discreet things. I'm willing to bet this is theirs, right there. We'll just walk over. Do they need that? No, but you know, can a, can a Sasquatch jump from there to there? Probably. I mean, who knows, right? But I think in, in their everyday, they don't want to. They just want to walk around like us. I absolutely love this area. Now there's definitely a mountain lion in there, I'll tell you why. Oh yeah, you can see, okay. I was just gonna tell you, hopefully you trust me. But you can see the trails, look. There's nothing over there except rock face. And as I was coming down on my bike, I was looking over, all those trails lead right into caves. And the only thing that can make a trail that big into a cave would be a mountain lion. Uh, bears don't come and go enough. Bears, once it's nice like this, bears will sleep outside. They'll go, you know, for 50 miles, I think or lots of miles where mountain lions are more. A lot of loose rocks. More territorially, I believe. You know, they'll, they'll stick around. Um, yeah, gold, I can get gold. How do I get, how do I get? Look, there's probably like 10 people still watching this video. If I could get someone that knows how to get gold off the bottom of that, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'll have you come out. We'll, we'll, we'll sneak in there. I think it's legal, actually. Stake a claim or something. Or just get in there and see what we can do. Any ideas? I have this feeling that there's just nuggets. <laughs> just laying on the bottom. Like, a, you know, the bottom of the rainbow type of thing. <laughs>